This is a video on how to evaluate a cold head on a GE 1.5 T MRI. So uh, this is this is the cold head. This is where the cold head meets the flange. Um, we want to evaluate whether or not the cold head was put in straight. It's this spacing here. That space. So we look around the cold head and we make sure that it's that it's even. All the way down. And we make sure it looks even and straight, not tilting from one side to another. So that's the first part of evaluation. And then when you have the uh, the cold head bolts, they're going in two different directions so that it makes a, a little space. If you can see that tiny little space in there. That space is there so that you can you can tighten the cold head bolt near the end of a cold head's life and it buys you a week or two, um, brings the pressure down, brings the temps down, um, and it improves the cold head temps for a little bit when a cold head is dying. So uh, this is I'm going to show you how to tighten those bolts near the end of the life. It's really important that you don't over tighten them. It's also very important that you, you tighten in a star pattern. So you'll need a number 10 uh, non-ferrous crescent wrench. You can do it with a ferrous one. You just got to hold on to it tight. And you tighten it until the space goes away. Don't tighten it hard. Maybe 20 foot pounds. Maybe 15 or 20 foot pounds. But tighten it until the space goes away. And then you're going to go in a star pattern, which means go opposite of where you're at. So, same thing. Maybe 20 foot pounds. And then you, I just did that one. The next star pattern. You switch back and forth. And at the end, you, you just want to close the space. You don't want to just, you don't want to crank on it. It's very important that you don't crank on it. You risk damaging the magnet if you, if you crank on it too hard. We're just closing that space, that little gap, we're closing it. Oh, this one here. Last one is down here. actually missing some washers which isn't the worst thing in the world you can still work with it and then you should finish right next to the one you started with when you're finished that's it so you evaluated that the cold head is straight you tighten the cold head bolts but you didn't crank on them um, uh, it's also smart to um, uh, listen to the cold head Get your ear up close to it and listen to it. Uh, if you hear any not really loud uh, grinding or crunching sounds, uh, you have you might have contamination inside the cold head um, that's frozen and crunching. Uh, if you hear it knock really loud, sometimes that's an indicator that uh, uh, the cold head is near the end of its life. And that's it. Thank you.